You get the gear vendors on there, multiply 3,000 times 4.78, and you get 2,340 RPM. So the hey, Uncle Dean, what's going on the lift? Tell him what's going on the lift. What's going on the lift? We can put the Grand National on the lift. Grand National. I think I'm gonna go get the I think I'm gonna go get the CTSV or the ATSV. Yeah, put it right under. No, trailer. Well, I mean. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I I have this front spoiler off, so all that stuff go right in the front bumper. But we got the cables ran. All that's really left is to go get some uh, hydraulic fluid, tighten everything up, and we'll go ahead and uh, bleed the system, get all the air out, run all the fluid, run it up and down a few times, and then put a car on it. Put we'll put we'll put Jason's car on it in case it falls. <laughs> all right, here we have it, guys. Here we go. Someone's going on the road. It's running. Yep. Hey, hey, yeah. stop. Go back out. Go that way. Now cut it the other way. Now come straight. Nope, nope, more straight. Don't cut it. Yup. Yes. Cut it a little bit, now straight. Yup. A little more. Stop. He can go back a little more. That's about as tall as I want to go. Are you? 
Then we want to go down on the first release. Go slow. Going on the locks. That's it. Back in the caddy. It's like snow on the ground, so we're kind of crazy for doing this. But I'm bringing it to the shop, and you guys will see why in a sec. Ooh, she's dirty. Next to me, we have poor Sinister that gets neglected. Ugh. All right, guys. Back in the caddy. We are back in business. All right, so we're taking this car right now to the shop. It's like... Ugh. Hold on. It is February, what, 8th? So there's still snow on the ground. Uh, luckily, the streets aren't too bad. Uh, so there's not a lot of salt. So we're just going to kind of uh, get it over to the shop. I only live about 10, 15 minutes away. So uh, it won't be too bad of a ride. Oh, God. This is definitely the first time this car has ever seen snow because this car is a second owner. I'm the second owner. I've never taken it in the snow and it came from Florida. So unless it was one of those rare cases of where like Florida got snow a couple years ago. But uh, other than that, oh, he's going to try to jump it. Oh, uh, did he get it? Oh, hell yeah. Here comes my boy. I'd like to introduce Franco what Savito, up, up, up? our roommate, doing? fellow gearhead, bike enthusiast, gearhead, bike previous enthusiast. Uh, R1 owner right here. He just sold she his gone. bike. She was clapped. Yeah, he had a clapped out R1. Oh, dude, that is not I love, good. I love clapped, Low tire pressure. 26 PSI. That means we will hook him back. Did I get the keys out of the door? I no. Got you got them for me? Yeah, oh, thanks, dude. You know me. I was taking care of your dumbass. Appreciate you. They're right here. Cop, um, no, there was a cop over there. Chase said a cop made a U-turn on Mannheim. So they told me to be careful. Hey, right now our spoiler's off, so we don't have to worry about cracking the front splitter. Oh, really? I sent it out to get repaired. Good shit. Yeah, it's in California right now. Damn. I know this one guy I bought a motorcycle off of. He did, like, really good carbon fiber work. Actually, I should have told you about He was like, oh, you might still see, like, a line through it. I'm like, dude, honestly, I was about to buy, like, the aftermarket <laughs> one on eBay, like, the fake one, but I'm like, dude, I, I can't do that to this car. Guap in the cat. 32 degrees outside. Cold. Where is this fucking BMW? <laughs> There's a flyby out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, guys, we're hunting and chasing the 550. He's gonna get his doors blown off his all-wheel drive V8 twin turbo fucking BMW. You know what they say about the V8 BMWs? Call him. Where is he? They ain't shit. Oh, let's put it in. Dude, there's these lights. I'm gonna pull up on him. <laughs> I'm pulling up on Chase. Look at this. Hey, is that your mom's car? <laughs> Yo, is that a is that a a a, 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 a BMW? Super duper fast BMW. Bro, is that like like a, the new one? Is that your? When did you get that, bro? Yesterday. You just bought it? Yeah. Bro, you work a $15 an hour job. How did oh, you no. buy that car? Stoinks. Bro, this kid still got his <laughs> communion money. <laughs> he's, got, he's got his... Uh, what, do they, what do the Jews do? Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah no, not yeah. <laughs> I was stupid. You still got your Hanukkah money? Yeah, you're in the bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah. <laughs> yeah, he's got his bar mitzvah money from when he was 18. He, it's been getting compound interest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, bro. Nice car, though, by the way. 
All right, for real though, I'm gonna do a U-turn. Yeah. Where'd the cop go? I pulled that way again. He can't catch us. Well, good news, YouTube. Uh, I just got my license back today. I didn't even tell you about it. Yeah. I still got it. Dude, my attorney called me and he was like, "All right, all you have to do is go to the uh, DMV, get your new license, it's reinstated." Nice. I'm That's like, sweet. Shit. I mean, I don't physically have a license on me, but if they go to run it, I mean, it should be should not be. Suspended anymore. Yeah, that's just, a, just, <laughs> that was gonna be suspended. Yeah, that was suspended. Long story, guys, but um, due to circumstances, my license got revoked. But we're back in business, so I'm now legally driving a car. I'm now able to legally operate a motor vehicle. He's legal. Which is very important it's in my line of work. <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright, we'll record. Alright, we're, we're recording. Well, if this fucking car wasn't there, <laughs> off the jump. Off the jump. We got over there. Now she, she's angry. She's mad. I'm trying to get him. Oh. My leg. Leg what? You <laughs> <laughs> leg. <laughs> Alright, well you wanna go somewhere where actually where there's no cops? We might as well, I got No. Recording. Recording, just hit the light, bro. Hit the light. Hit the light. Hit the light. Still got greens. Hit, hit the light. Bam. Are you gonna hit the light? I'm gonna hit the light. He's gonna hit it. Right. <laughs> Smoky. It's it himself. It's Stored for the winter. Yeah. Yeah. Money. Uh, you can come this way a little bit. Oh, I think your thing just died. Yeah, now it's straight back. Good. Look at this collection they got going on here. Sweet dude. I'll right, pull these two shit boxes up. All right guys, so here you have the video. Uh, we got a four post lift installed in the showroom at the shop. Um, so basically I just kind of gave you guys a little rundown of us installing it, putting the first car on it testing it out and honestly the quality of the lift has been great uh, it was super affordable bought the lift off of ebay it was a little skeptical at first um, but overall super happy with it a um, little tricky getting out of the truck because the thing overall weight was like over 2,000 pounds uh, so it, it, it weighs about as much as a horse but it, it was heavy but we ended up breaking it down piece by piece in the truck and we got it in fine so uh, anyway, the real main reason behind doing this was we were able to now utilize us putting four cars in here. So we got behind me, you can see we got the two backed in and then we got one up top and one below. So it just really was for room um, and like with the weather, we are, allows us to store more cars inside, whether they're for sale or just for storage. Um, all these three cars right here are all for sale. This is ATSV. 
not for sale. Uh, just I brought it here because it's actually going to the World of Wheels uh, in March in Chicago. Uh, so I brought it here because I'm going to start doing detail work, prep, and I got a few things in store for it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, uh, I'll post a link to the lift of where I got it down in the description. If you guys are looking for storage for your cars, it's honestly super great. Um, it's super sturdy. I really don't have any complaints about it. Um, and that's really about it. I was able to plug it right in and go up. And um, that's really it. And another cool thing about this lift is you do not have to bolt it to the floor. You can see here, um, it has caster wheels over there. So when you do take the cars off, you can put it on the wheels and roll it around. So it is mobile. Uh, so we don't, you know, if we ever wanted to move it back or around or wherever, it doesn't really matter. We can. So that was really cool. But uh, I appreciate you guys for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one. Peace.